Eve Muirhead, an inspirational curling athlete, is ready to say goodbye. The Olympian announced her retirement earlier this month. It's always sad saying goodbye to a great athlete, but it's great to watch them accomplish so much in their career. Keep watching to know more about her career and what led to her making this decision. First off, let's take a look back at Muirhead's career. The Scottish curler's career has been an interesting and extremely successful one. She appeared in the curling scene in 2007 and helped her team win gold. It instantly established her as someone to look out for. It was about time. By the age of 23, she secured the record of becoming the youngest skip to win an Olympic medal at the 2014 Winter Games in Sochi. With a total of 11 gold medals in the World Championships, Olympic Games, and European Championship, it doesn't come as a surprise that Eve has been named Scotland's most successful curler, and then her life-threatening hip injury. Of course, when you commit to a sport, getting injuries comes with it because you're putting extra pressure on your body when you're training for it. And for Muirhead, her injury came at the worst time possible, before her 2020 to Beijing Olympics appearance. The injury was not fresh though, and had actually been gnawing away at her for years. She went into surgery in 2018, but afterward had to go through extensive months of therapy and rehab to be back in her best form. The athlete was aware that things wouldn't be the same as they were, and she even shared concerns that she was scared that she might not be able to go back to curling after the surgery. Fortunately, Muirhead was able to return, but only to face another hindrance in the way of her comeback. Right before she was supposed to hit the rink, the pandemic hit, and all scared schedules were put on halt. While that didn't stop the Scottish curler, she continued practicing in her garage at home and was also able to strengthen her hip in the process. And now, let's talk about Muirhead's comeback. Soon enough, Muirhead and her team were called back to play, but there was a problem. As suddenly everything had come to a halt because of the pandemic, with the same rate, people were expected to go back to living their normal lives as things seemed to settle down. The same thing happened with Muirhead as her team was thrown into the 2021 World Championship in Canada almost suddenly. This is why they failed to secure a spot for Britain at the Beijing Games and were eventually forced into a squad selection process. But that seemed to work out for them, as Eve was able to get her third European title and also qualify for a place in the Beijing Olympics. Up next, winning gold in the Olympics. Muirhead and her team had finished in fourth place back in 2018, and she stated that she felt like she had unfinished business with the Olympic Games. And with a new team, she was able to finally win some gold and have her dreams come true. Boy, did she prove herself, as she was able to have a 10-3 victory over Japan, but even getting to that point wasn't easy, as they barely made it to the semifinals. After four defeats out of nine, no one could have predicted these women would be scoring a gold medal in the end. They turned the game in the last four games with a very exciting match against Sweden. It was also revealed that Team Muirhead's victory was the only gold that Team GB won at the event, which made her all the more special. Eve talked about her win and stated that this victory made her a better curler and even went on to say a better person too. She went on to say that standing on the podium with a gold medal around her neck is a moment she will never forget. The Muirhead-led team's gold is the only gold medal of her career, and also the only gold Team GB has won at the Olympics. And then, Muirhead announces that she will be retiring. Only six months after winning a gold medal, people were surprised when Eve announced that she will be retiring from curling at the age of 32. After 15 years of international curling and 21 international titles, she announced that this decision has been the hardest one she's had to make, and she had been thinking about when to make the final call for a while now. A lot of people wondered whether it was the right decision to make, especially right after such a major victory. But according to the Scottish curler, this is the best time to. She claimed that it's always nice to go out on the top. She went on to say that she feels like this is the perfect time to hang up her curling shoes from this elite level. Muirhead took to social media and stated that throughout her career, she has experienced a lot of highs and lows, which has made the entire journey very emotional for her. But it is a journey that she is incredibly proud of. The Olympian went on to thank her team and everyone who has helped her to come to the position she is in right now, and went on to pay tribute to her team players. And finally, what will Eve be doing after retirement? Ever since she announced her retirement, people have been curious about what she has planned for her future. When asked by BBC, she stated that she was currently uncertain about what her future plans were, but she's still excited about it nonetheless. Her father, who is also a renowned curler, did however mention that they should keep a watch out on her social media to see what her next move would be, and hinted that she had gotten her golf clubs out for the time being. It looks like we might be seeing the athlete on the golf course then, and we're sure she'll be making history in this sport too. We're excited to see what her future holds for her, and we'll definitely keep you guys updated once we get to know where she's making her mark next. Now, in other related news. First up, Olympic cycling silver medalist test positive for doping. Swiss cyclist and Olympic silver medalist Matthias Flukiger was reportedly provisionally suspended in a doping case. He was in Munich for an event when his provisional ban was announced. It was also announced that his Olympic medal will not be affected by the case. The suspension comes right
right before his scheduled competition in a mountain bike race at the European Championships. The Swiss Cycling Association stated that Flukiger tested positive for the anabolic agent Xeranol at the national championships that happened in June. Swiss Cycling stated that they had been informed by the Swiss anti-doping officials in June about the positive test in a sample. More details about the case have yet to be disclosed by Swiss Sports Integrity, but they have stated that they are currently investigating the case. And then, Tokyo 2020 Olympic official accused of taking bribes, Harauki Takahashi, a former member of the Tokyo 2020 Olympics Organizing Committee, has been arrested on suspicion of corruption. The Olympics official has been accused of taking payments of around $380,000 from a high street business suit retailer, Aoki Holdings, who was also an official partner of the 2020 Games. According to the documents from the Tokyo Prosecutor's Office, it was reported that the agency accused him of taking large amounts of money as a thank you payment for the beneficial treatment he was giving to the retailer. They went on to allege that more than 50 transactions had taken place between October 2017 till March 2022, in which money was being sent to the bank account of a company run by Haruyuki. Officials have also been looking into whether his past payments received had violated law forbidding public servants from taking money in relation to their role. Apart from Mr. Takahashi and Aoki, two other executives and a former chairman have also been arrested with connections to the case. The company has since then released a statement stating that they are cooperating fully with the prosecutors and providing them with everything they need. And lastly, Germany considers hosting the Olympics. After a 40-year hiatus, it looks like Germany might be hosting the Olympics once again. The last time the country hosted was back in 1972, and it has now been revealed that they are considering bidding to become the host once again. As confirmed by the German Olympic Committee president, Thomas Weikert, he added that he will be discussing prospects with his members as well. Weikert did seem optimistic that members of the committee will most likely be on board, but previous attempts have failed for the country to bring back the Games. Previously, they had bid for Berlin, Hamburg, Munich, Leipzig, and rhine ruhr region to host, but were opposed. The IOC has also refused to pay for taxes, which was the main hindrance since Beijing has reportedly spent around $8.8 billion on the 2022 Winter Olympics. So far, it is unclear when they would be hosting the Games, as the hosts for 2026 are Italy and Japan's Sapporo is the favorite for the 2030 Winter Olympics. That's a wrap for this video. What do you think about Eve Muirhead's retirement news? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one!